the content script doesn't have to be placed within a separated JavaScript file. We can alternatively inject the JavaScript into the code of the web page the user browse. Here in this code sample, when the user press the browser action, this anonymous function is executed and when it is executed, it actually injects this script into the code of the web page the user browse. Here within the manifest file, we define a browser action. We also define a background page and the required permissions for this code to execute successfully. Let's give it a try. So first let's load this extension. And now as you can see we have the browser action. So if we browse a web page as this one and press that browser action, the background changes into yellow.